Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Now, this is a, a video that I want to talk to the church of Samaria. Samaria or Samaria. You know what I'm saying? I want to explain what the writings, the letters of Revelations mean to them. And why it's important for them to reach. Now, to the church of Samaria, Samaria, Samaria. Uh, S M Y R N A. I don't know how to say it right, bro. Excuse my pronunciation. And this is what it said. This is Revelation chapter two, verse verse eight. Now let's start. Now, like I said before, listen to the words out of me. You feel me? This is why you need to listen to the words out of me. I have the gift of the spirits. I have the gift of prophecy. I have the gift of knowledge, wisdom, or understanding. I can understand the mysteries of the Bible. I can interpret tongues. I can um um prophesy and I understand prophecy and I interpret prophecy. And all these are prophecies and I'm interpreting it for you because you don't understand it. So I'm telling you the message and the meaning behind it and what God is requiring for you to do. Because you have to stand on God is with us, Emmanuel. You have to denounce Jesus and stop serving Jesus. Stop being in denial. Stop being in denial like this other pastors. Do you understand? You have to stop being in denial like this other pastors. And you have to serve Emmanuel and teach Emmanuel. And this is why. And this is your warning. Because after the 70 weeks, you have only four more weeks left. September the 15th, God is going to act on his word. And if you guys have not done it before September the 15th, assign this covenant, make on my unlimited demands, you feel me, and denounce the name Jesus, you feel me, start teaching, so that's why I start teaching y'all how to start teaching Emmanuel, you are going to be in big trouble with God, not with me. You feel me? You are going to be in big trouble with God himself, because he will act after seven since September the 15th, the prophecies of this Bible will start coming to pass. Now, let's proceed in the reading. Now, chapter 2, Revelation chapter 2, verse 8. You see, and it said, To the angel of the church in Samaria, write, The words of the first and the last who died and came to life. I know your tribulation and your poverty. But you are rich. And the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, and you may be tested for ten days. You will have tribulation, but be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. Who, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The one who conquers will not be hurt by the second death. Now, to the people of Samaria, the Bible is saying this. We know your tribulations. We understand what you're going to. We know your problems. We know your problems. We know that you are poverty, but you are rich. You are in poverty, but you are rich. You are a wealthy country, wherever you are. You are wealthy. Your state, your country is wealthy. And you are rich. And the slander of those, you feel me? The slander of those who claim to be Jews, but are the synagogue of Satan. See, the slander... The Bible said, watch out for the slanderous words. Slander means lies, false words, vain words, which is Jesus. Jesus, all these false men of God have done miracles in the name of Jesus and made money in the name of Jesus. They claim to be, they claim to be, they claim to be the synagogue of Jews. They claim to be Jews. See, Jews, Jews means they claim to be holy priests. Because the Jews are the keeper of the commandments. See, these men of God claim to think, claim to say, oh man, we know the word of God. But they're just a synagogue of Satan. 
These men of God are demonic people. Do you understand? And world, you need to know this. Everybody need to be aware because that is what's going on now in life. That is what's going on now in our reality. That's what's going on now in today's world, today, right now, this moment, the second. Do you understand me? You understand me? But but this is what's about to happen after the 70 weeks to you guys. So that's why I said you have to stand on Emmanuel to build your faith. Do you understand me? You have to remind yourself God is with you to build your faith because you are about to suffer a couple things. You are about to suffer a couple things. You are about to go through some rough times. And you need the realization that God is with you because that will be the only thing that will help you through the rough time that you are about to go through. The Bible says, for what is about to happen, do not fear. Verse 10, it says, do not fear what you are about to suffer. The devil is going to come down at you because I'm giving you this knowledge. You seven, see, brother, there are seven churches. And you are the second church. You are one of the seven churches. And he's going to come at you. You feel me? The devil will come at you to break you. And it's teaching that I'm giving you. God is with us, Emmanuel. And you are about to suffer. Some of y'all will be thrown in prison. But it'll only be for 10 days for your believing in his word. Because all these big men of God are going to try to make us look like we are false for their Jesus. And people are going to turn on you. Do you understand me? They are to the, remember, these men of God are the synagogue of Satan. I don't care what they say. Do you understand? They are going to keep denying it because the Spirit of God is not with them. And it's only if the Spirit of God is with them that they will be able to testify that Emmanuel is Savior. Do you understand? But you, you understand what I'm saying because you are close to God. Do you understand me? And God is still close to you and God speaks to you guys. Do you understand me? So listen, so do not fear if you get in prison because the devil and this false man of God are going to come up with some shit to imprison you. The devil will be thrown down the earth September the 15th. Do you understand? We're going to throw him down the earth from the spiritual realm September the 15th. He will no longer be the king of the earth. He will be on earth September the 15th. And he's going to be angry and he's going to come at all of us. Especially us seven churches. Do you understand me? He's going to come at all of us. Do you understand? He cannot touch me because I'm grown. I'm way powerful than him. But you guys, on the other hand, you have not grown yet. You still stuck on your denial and your Jesus. Do you understand me? See, you guys, he's going to test y'all to try to break y'all. But it's only going to last for 10 days. You feel me? It said, be faithful. Even if you have to die, be faithful and do not go back serving Jesus for no reason. Do you understand me? No matter what this man of God do, no matter what they say, do not serve Jesus. Do not claim Jesus is the Savior, no matter how bad it is. Die. Understand? The Bible says in verse 10, it said, Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. So die for it. Do you understand me? And you are going to get the crown of life. Do you understand me? 